Hello, I'm Alex Dudeker. I'm Professor of Architecture at the Royal College of Art. We're here amongst the graduating students' work of 2012, and I'm keen to show you some of the projects. The agenda of this studio is the production of food in high-rise context, and Chris is going to explain this incredible project. Basically, this image is a new office structure situated in Old Street Roundabout, and it's actually cultivating insects, both as a sustainable food source in the city and also as a way of storing data. So each of these cells store insects which are tagged with digital tags. So each cell has a capacity to produce the amount of food that the building requires to sustain itself, but it also stores the amount of data that it can actually use per day. So each cell stores five gigabytes. And if it uses too much, then it starts to die. But if it doesn't use enough, then it excretes the excess crickets as food. So it becomes a kind of living system between food and data and effectively a living hard drive of the whole building. The central core is the backbone which stores the food production elements. So this is storing like the 3D printers and the grinders and the silos which are processing these insects into food. Whereas the cells are more about the office spaces which are actually cultivating the insects as kind of data carriers. And then this is a system which can kind of grow over time, like based on the geometry it can kind of always add to itself. So it's a kind of evolutionary structure. There's something of the crystal ball I think in Louis's work which makes this awful prediction about the influence corporations are going to have on the built environment. Increasingly, motorway infrastructure will define the way in which cities develop. In this case, is based around a motorway that was never built, but he makes speculations about what it would have been like and the buildings all around it and how they encroach on the city. So enormous megastructures are envisaged which get inhabited in turn by giant corporate retail outfits that endlessly supplant each other's need to grow where all the access is. What I really like about this project is not just the speculative nature or the predictive nature of it, but the fact that as an artist he's able to convey it with such simple photomontages that are, for me, brutally powerful. I, I, I enjoy them. This is a project where the programme of a hotel subsidises the production of tropical fruit growing and it's another along the theme of food production in the city, in high-rise buildings. And what I like about this project is actually its structural content. Hotel is a towering thermal retreat in the city, um, harvesting foreign fruits of the world at global destinations in London. Set in London 2040, it aims to take advantage of rising temperature change and ask the question, could bananas, pineapples and figs be fruits of England? With the city kind of absorbing copious amounts of heat and, and water, it's sort of taking advantage of this. It also looks at the hotel industry and how it can subsidise a productive tropical landscape in, in the city. It runs off a, a hydroponic system. This is a model of that and the idea is that the hydroponic system becomes the main structure for the building with responsive ETFE panels creating these unique environments. Highways scheme is an alternative proposal for Chelsea Barracks. I really like this scheme because it demonstrates incredibly well how historically British housing has been all about separation, separation of families, separation of work and living, separation of shopping. Effectively, this inverts the paradigm, so everything is mixed up. It's incredibly high density. Highways coming from a Chinese perspective, where everything happens in every street, and extended family networks operate within this scheme. She's making a proposal for everybody, every child, every adult, having their own room in the context of otherwise shared space, so semi-public external space and shared living rooms. I really like these drawings. They represent what on the face of it might look like low-rise housing, but this is really high density and they're incredibly beautiful drawings in themselves. They look like Chinese tableau landscape drawings, but they indicate the kind of urban living proposition which the UK has not yet seen. And I think it's one of the most eloquent new typologies for housing I've seen in a long time.